be tonight. Three years ago, £20,000 was allocated to build a skate park in Hemel Hempstead. Three years on, it's still not there. Now, Hertfordshire Council stand accused of breaking promises and letting young people down. Yvonne Hall reports. Sunday afternoon in a Hemel Hempstead car park. It's cold and windy, but nothing stops these guys practicing their moves. They've been campaigning for a proper skate park in Hemel for six years. £20,000 was allocated for it three years ago, but it still hasn't been built. We had money, we had skate park designs, we had a location, and all of a sudden it was as if they wiped the slab clean and we had to start again from phase one. Earlier this year, they protested outside council offices. Their campaign is just one of dozens like it across Hertfordshire. In Hemel, council officials say they can't find the right site for a skate park. What we're looking for is a place where, um, first of all, uh, there will be no disruption to neighbours. Um, secondly, that uh, it will be able to be monitored because we obviously don't want any uh, skateboard park vandalised. And the third thing is, I feel very strongly, that there should be some first aid facility not too far away. The Pioneer in St Albans is the only indoor skate park in the whole of Hertfordshire. It cost about £30,000 and is packed most nights and weekends. It's nurtured a professional skateboarding champion. It's not just a fad, it's something that you can get into, you know, take seriously, turn professional, make a living from it. And, uh, I mean, apart from that, it's a good thing to do. It keeps you fit, you know, keeps kids off the streets. In Hemel, they've been trying to get off the streets for six years. In car parks and town centres, they run the constant risk of being moved on by the police. But they say that's better than not being able to skateboard at all. Yvonne Hall, BBC London News, Hertfordshire. We'll let you know what happens with that one. Now it's over to Peter on the roof with the weather. Thanks very much, Gillian. Well, there's a bitter 